Hey, there you are. So here's the story. Lockdown 80% over, Ganta goes garage sales, right? So I'm going, gonna go out, I stop at the house and it, it is kind of trashy, like scrap metal there, old stereo speakers, 70s Akai in bad condition, that kind of stuff. And I walk and I look at the tables and I see this piece. I was immediately intrigued by it. And I asked the guy, how much you want for that? So he goes, nah, give me a dollar. And his dad, standing in an angle to me, and he hears it and said, oh, this is, this is worth more in brass. It has 17 pounds of full brass. This is worth more in brass. I want $10. And I say, okay, I look around more. It's some kind of nice guy. And I told him I would have bought it for a dollar, you know. I mean, I don't know what it is, but it looks kind of cool. He said, oh, just give me, give me a dollar. It was real dirty. You can see in the pictures. Give me a dollar. So I give him the dollar. And I buy it. And I go home. And uh, that was last Saturday. And... Uh, I have a whole trunk load full of stuff I bought. It was a really good weekend. And I, I cleaned my trunk out. I put it all in the garage and, and set it on a table. And I look at this piece and, and I kind of ask myself, why did you buy it? But it, it, it is kind of cool. It is, uh, first I thought it's, it's to put a flagpole in or so. It's cool. And you know, a dollar, right? I have the, the brass value, I think, is like 10 bucks or so. It's a, I think. Uh, a pound is at the moment a dollar forty. It has seventeen pounds full press. So I had no clue what it is. I put it on Facebook, and here is my shout out to Andy Swag, who is an excellent bass player. He lives here in Las Vegas as well. But now, from today on, he is also my number one art expert because he spotted right where I put it on Facebook, dirty as it was, and say anybody knows what this is, and he spotted it right away, led me in the right direction. Uh, we still don't exactly know what it is, but he led me in the right dire direction. So I put some pictures up and you see what he all sent me, or it's on my Facebook. And then it, it, it became very, very interesting. It was, as I said, dirty and rusty screws inside. So we started opening it up and we started cleaning it. And here it is what we have today. Look at this. This is full press. It's a sculpture. It is obviously inspired by Barbara Hepworth. You can Google this and look at her work. She's an English artist and she's phenomenal. I never heard about her. I never knew about her work, but now I do and I'm a fan already. It is unbelievable, beautiful. So it cleaned up very nice. And while we were cleaning this, we discovered something else. It is signed. Now, we don't know what this reads, and we have no idea, but it is signed. It is not Barbara Hepworth. If this would be Barbara Hepworth, it would be in the $2 million range. There's other sculptures which are not that nice, which go from her, which go the lowest one, 100, 150,000. Then we found another company who makes things like this and they sell them for $400. But theirs are not, do not have, uh, this is upside down, right? Yeah. Uh, those do not have this sticker and this says handmade in India. India makes lots of brass and lots of cheap stuff, but th I don't think this is. So this is handmade in India and this, it is made especially 
for September Woods. I don't know who September Woods is and if that's even a name or a company, but what I know is that Barbara Hepworth had a friend and his name was September. So that might be a coincidence or not, I don't know. It says made especially for September Woods and we have the signature here and of course we have this wonderful piece which is worth between $400 and $2 million. <laughs> I don't know how much it's worth, but you know what? You guys can comment. If you know something, I would appreciate any help with this because, because it's not going to be easy to find out what this is. Fact is, I love it. We all love it. Everybody who's seen it so far, we all love it and I, I will put the polished uh, piece on Facebook and I don't even know if I want to sell it yet. Uh, I mean it really depends how much it's worth. Uh, if it's in a, in, in a big price then most likely we, we take the money. Uh, there's a company in Vegas and uh, the company is called RH. Uh, they are all over the country actually and they sell a replica of something, I don't know of what, looks like this, uh, for $400. It has 17 pounds, it's the big one. So I don't think that's what it is, but it, if it would be for, I wouldn't want to sell it. So we see, I, I think that's a fascinating story. I, I, I'm, it's not the end of the story. I don't know what the happy ending hopefully will be. Uh, we research more and I appreciate every comment. If you know anything about this, please, please let me know. And, and because I really want to find out what I got here. All I can tell you is it's unbelievable what you can buy for a dollar on a garage sale. So I hope that motivates you to, to go around a little bit and, and, and find stuff like that. I swear I'm, I'm not, we're not making any up. Any, any of this up. I found this for one dollar on a garage sale and, and you can do it too. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.